In this video, we will review general considerations when installing and configuring MongoDB. The topics will include how do you test the installation, what if MongoDB does not start, what about security, and are there any management tools available. To test MongoDB, you would open up a terminal window. From there, you would enter the Mongo command. If you're not able to access the MongoDB shell, you'll know right away that there is some sort of problem and you would need to review your installation to make sure that everything installed properly. You can then use the built-in database. You type in use mydb. From there, you can enter in a test document. You type in db test save and then enter in a document using json syntax. Open curly brace Give it a field name, for example, A, enter a colon, and then some value. You then close the curly brace and close the parentheses. You can now do a find to see if you can locate the document just entered. You type in db.test.find. This will give you a list of all of the documents that have been entered into the test database so far. You can then type in exit to exit the MongoDB shell. You've now confirmed that MongoDB is operating successfully. The next question is, what if MongoDB does not start? There are several reasons why MongoDB may not start. First of all, you may want to review the mongodb.conf or configuration file. There's one very important entry which should be made, and that is the DB path. That's the location of the folder in which MongoDB will store its database. If this entry is lacking, or if you failed to provide this as a command line parameter when starting MongoDB, MongoDB will not start. Likewise, it's very important to ensure that the MongoDB user has the necessary rights to this folder. Normally, the MongoDB user would need to be able to at least read and write to this particular folder. The second entry, which is not mandatory but which is highly recommended, is to specify a log path. As you can see here, the log path is under the folder var log mongodb. The name of the file is mongodb.log. As long as you set the parameter log append equal to true, you can then review this file to find out further information as to why mongodb is not starting on your system. Another very common mistake is to install the wrong version. For example, if you have a 64-bit version of your operating system, and you install the 32-bit version instead, you will encounter problems, and the reverse will be true as well. In terms of security, the default installation for MongoDB does not have any security whatsoever. It would be therefore important to establish an administrative user. This topic is discussed in more detail in the video on MongoDB security. Finally, are there any management tools available? Fang of Mongo, is a web-based graphical user interface for MongoDB, which is based on Python, Django, and jQuery. The source code can be found at the URL shown on the screen. UMongo is a GUI that can browse and administer a MongoDB cluster. Here's the website for this project, edgytech.com slash umongo. Mongo Explorer is a Windows-only MongoDB management tool, which is written using Microsoft Silverlight. You can find information at mongoexplorer.com. Mongo Hub is designed for the Macintosh. It uses native protocols built into the Mac and supports, among other things, importing data from various formats, including a MySQL database, CSV, and JSON imports and exports. The source code can be found at github.com slash photonauts slash mongohub dash Mac. Mongo Vision is a web-based graphical interface for MongoDB which is based on Prudence. Prudence is a Java application and therefore the server requires a JVM or Java Virtual Machine to be available for MongoVision to run properly. The code can be found at code.google.com slash p slash mongo dash vision. MongoView is a web front end implemented in PHP. Information can be found at blog.mongoview.com. Opricot is a web-based MongoDB administrative tool. The source code can be found at github slash argon slash opricot dash mongo console. Another tool, which is PHP-based, is phpmoadmin. 
It's a MongoDB administration tool, which is PHP-based. It's built upon a stripped-down version of the Vork framework. The website is phpmoadmin.com. The interesting thing about phpmoadmin is that it consists of one single PHP file. In conclusion, how do you test the installation? You open a command prompt or terminal window. You run the command to start MongoDB. You then type in Mongo to open the Mongo command shell. You can then use the default database by typing in use mydb. You can save a test document by typing in db.test.save followed by the document in JSON syntax. You can then type in db.test.find to find the document just inserted. What if MongoDB does not start? In most cases, it's because the DB path parameter has not been correctly specified. It's also important to specify the log path directive so that you can review the log at a later time. In addition, after consulting the MongoDB config file, you look at the DB path parameter and make sure that the MongoDB user has permissions to read and write to the log and database path directories. Finally, verify that you've installed the correct version. It's very easy to install the 32-bit version when you have a 64-bit operating system and the reverse. As for security, authentication is disabled by default. There will be security videos later on in this course, which will instruct you in this process. Are there any management tools available? We've identified 12. Fang of Mongo, UMongo, Mongo Explorer, Mongo Hub, Mongo Vision, Mongo View, Apricot, PHP, MoAdmin, RockMongo, Genghis, MongoBird, and RoboMongo.